What are you? Where did you come from? Where did you go? What are you, Phantom Ruby? Oh. Hello and welcome to Blue Blur, and boy was Sonic Forces a disappointment. Sure it's not the worst Sonic game I've played, it kept my attention long enough to completion, but the game overall had a sense of half-heartedness. Good ideas paired with bad execution and an eagerness to be Generations 2 without coming off as such. But let's not repeat my review of the game and focus on the game's Deus Ex Machina, the Phantom Ruby. This mysterious icosahedron and to all you D&D nerds out there, that's what a 20-sided die is called, first appeared in Sonic Mania as the game's central MacGuffin of power that Robotnik is after. Right off the bat, we see what this gem is capable of by transforming the Egg Robos into the infamous hardballed heavies and transported everyone nearby to Green Hill Zone. The Phantom Ruby's exact powers are based on virtual reality manipulation. It takes control of victims' visual and death perceptions to feed false information to the brain, thus creating a new reality for them, and create virtual projections that have mass and form to interact with and the world around them. This includes empowering and altering beings like the Hardballed Heavies and Metal Sonic, all creating illusory places and entities that are impossible to tell if they're real or not. It must be noted that this is more of an augmented reality, which is when another reality is laid on top of another, whereas virtual reality is when an entirely new one is made. Think Pokemon Go compared to Oculus Rift, augmented versus virtual. This is not mentioned as other properties such as teleportation, creating pocket reality such as the Egg Revere and Null Space, giving its users flight, solve calculus, recite Shakespeare, cook Thanksgiving dinner, and cause momentary illusions of what people's hearts desire. But it can't help you find love. Aww. It sounds like this gem is more powerful than the Chaos Emeralds or even the Master Emerald, especially when used in conjunction with the Seven Emeralds. This happens when the Phantom Ruby pulled the Doctor and Sonic into a strange space where Eggman and the traitorous Phantom King fought over the gemstone, only for Super Sonic to defeat them both. In the aftermath, the Phantom Ruby reacted to the Seven Chaos Emeralds, causing Sonic and the Ruby to be pulled through to another dimension, where the adventures of the Ruby continue. This dimension is where Sonic Forces takes place, aka Modern Sonic's dimension. After being discovered by Eggman outside his base, and crossing paths with the leader of the Jackal Squad, whose own ambitions mirrored those of Eggman, was able to make several prototypes of the Ruby and given a finalized Ruby to the mercenary leader, who assimilated with it to become infinite, after an embarrassing defeat by the hands of Shadow. You may be wondering why the Phantom Ruby was able to arrive months or even a year before Classic Sonic did. This is to do with time dilation. It is a difference of elapsed time between two events as measured by observers. Since the ruby is travelling in compressed space, time moves more swiftly while travelling through the wormhole to the new dimension. One minute on one side of the wormhole could represent several months on the other. This is why Sonic takes longer to pass through since he is a larger mass compared to the palm sized gem. After the six month war to take back the planet, Sonic, Classic Sonic, and the Avatar finally take down Eggman and his Phantom Ruby powered Death Egg Ro- No! That is not a Death Egg Robot. It is a better name. The Egg Phantom, there we go. Our heroes take down Eggman and his Ruby powered Egg Phantom and seemingly destroy the Ruby for good, thus returning hope back to the people and sending Classic Sonic back home. Well, that would be the end, but as luck would have it, after Sonic's return, the ruby appears too as it travels over to where Mighty and Rei are captured. Choosing the other one reveals the other to be the heavy magician in disguise, who takes the ruby and gives it to the Phantom King, who in turn resets the course of the game, forcing the five heroes to take down Eggman and the heavies all over again. This event does pull into question the canicity of events as the mini animated series Sonic Mania Adventures also takes place after forces. So split timeline again? Because the events preceding Classic Sonic's departure from Generations seems to have created a separate universe or dimension where Mania takes place, as well as the appearance of the Phantom Ruby. Even though Sonic's form when being pulled into the Phantom Portal mirrors that of his arrival in Encore Story and not his appearance in which mirrors the return of Adventures, I don't know, I've gone cross-eyed. I've done plenty of timeline theories to no one conclusion. 
Adventures is non-canon. Sad, but unfortunately true. Anyway, getting back to the topic at hand. After Eggman's second defeat, the Phantom Ruby goes haywire and opens up a portal that sucks in Robotnik and the Titanic Monarch, sending it to unknown space as our heroes escape using their super states. And this time, it is unknown what has happened to the Phantom Ruby afterwards. But I know the current whereabouts of this gem, so I put it to you that the Phantom Ruby is back where it belongs. Under Angel Island. Wait, what do you mean it's back under the island, I hear you say? Simple. The Phantom Ruby is a prime example of a bootstrap paradox. Paradoxes themselves are a seemingly absurd or self-contradictory statements or propositions that, when investigated or explained, may prove to be well-founded or true. There are many variants of paradoxes, such as the logical paradox, ship of thesis, where you can replace any component of a ship and it's still the same ship. So you can replace all of them over time and it's still the same ship. However, you can then take all the original pieces and assemble them into the ship. That too is the same ship you began with. Not to mention the various time travel paradoxes I've talked about with Gaden Silver and his mission to save the future, which would cause a temporal paradox. Who knows? Maybe Silver's very presence in the past could cause the destruction he's been trying to prevent, thus causing a predestination paradox. So what is a bootstrap paradox? A bootstrap paradox is a theoretical paradox of time travel that occurs when an object or piece of information is sent back in time becomes trapped within an infinite cause-effect loop, in which the item no longer has a discernible point of origin, and is said to be uncaused or self-created. I say this because outside of the events of the Phantom Ruby was used in, its sudden appearance beneath the island soon after the events of the Death Egg is never explained. Some might say it was dormant, some might say it's now gone forever, but an item this powerful does not just appear or disappear. To quote Sherlock Holmes, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. With its limitless and great assortment of powers, we can also react with the Chaos Emeralds. It is not entirely unlikely for the Phantom Ruby to end up where it was first discovered, doomed to repeat the same cycle of discovery, war, and defeat.